I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all before I went into my appointment. This vlog would consist of just a, a self-care. It's Mother's Day week. Well, Mother's Day is Sunday, so I keep on saying it's Mother's Day week. But y'all get what I'm saying. Mother's Day is Sunday, and I just told myself, like, I never do anything for myself. I'm very selfless. I'm always doing for others or my child, which is nothing wrong with that. But this week is going to be dedicated to me and doing things that I always like want to do. But I always kind of be like, no, I don't need to do that for myself. I don't need to spend that type of money right now. But this week so far, well, today so far, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get my lashes done. Um, I've only had my lashes done one time, so I'm kind of nervous on how it looks. It's going to look because I like the natural look. I don't want it to be just too, like, like girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think my eyes will look right with that. It's cute on some other girls, but I don't know if that's going to be cute on me. So, I'm going to probably get a hybrid set. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to talk to her and let her know, like, I'm really wanting something that's going to be natural but still cute like it's still there it's still giving um and then after that i'm gonna go to the nail shop and get my toes done i'm quite tired of the white toes i'm really in my french tip ear so i'm gonna go and transition back into getting french tip on my toes because i miss it like i really miss it the french tip and the anklet combination is like chef's kiss so that's definitely the vibes that i'm getting for this week um so yeah i was gonna get my nails done but i was like nah then i have to keep you know keep that going the only thing that matters to me is my toes because yeah <laughs> toes toes matter way more than nails to me like i can easily put clear coat on my nails and it still look real clean but toes like my toes gotta stay done i don't i'm gonna keep my toes done I think that's all that I have planned for today. I really don't have anything else that I just, that I'm just going to be doing for myself. So, yeah. got me some chick-fil-a mm. i love me some chick-fil-a i'm like i'm one of those chick-fil-a people like i love chick-fil-a it's like my favorite fast food aside from popeyes i don't know i don't know which one better but they both real good in the chicken real so got my chick-fil-a sauce chick-fil-a sauce over polynesian mm. so yeah Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, somebody just reached out to me and asked, like, how you so strong? Like, how you deal with certain things? How you get past things? Stuff like that. And... People ask me this often, and I just love the fact that people look at me as a strong person. That's very, like, I don't know, it's that's a compliment to me. But I'm here to tell y'all, like, I'm not, I have, I still have feelings. Like, I still deal with things. I just deal with them differently. Like, I be eating shit up. Like, I go through a lot. I go through a lot um, emotionally. Um... A lot of the times, I just isolate myself. Like, when I mean by isolate myself, I literally would get off of all social media platforms because I don't like to see all the negative things. I feel like I'm already dealing with my own. I don't want to see anybody else's problems. Like, the shade room, I don't want to see what people that I don't know and I don't care about what they're dealing with. Um, so, I just get off 
social media. That's one thing that I do. That's how I cope. Another way that I cope with dealing with things is I talk to myself. I cry to myself. I cry a lot. And I cry to Well, not... It's it's some ease up. Like, I haven't cried. I can't even tell y'all last time I cried. But I used to cry when I deal with things and I'm going through a lot. I cry to myself. I talk myself through things. I hold myself accountable. I don't point the finger at anybody. Um, I literally will hold myself accountable for whatever it is. Because we as people, we have to realize that a lot of the things that we encounter and deal with, especially when it comes to um, people, we have more control than we a lot of control over that. Who we let in our lives, who we allow to treat us bad. Um, it is a lot. You have control. You just got to... Sorry. You just got to build the strength to, you know, you got to build the strength to have some type of, you know, self-discipline and self-control. That's what you got to do, and it's hard. Anything that we're not used to doing is always going to be hard. It's always going to start off hard, but when you make it a habit of holding yourself accountable, seeing the value and things and and yourself it becomes easy eventually now I still do struggle like sometimes I do struggle but for the most part nah I'm not going for nothing like I'm not going for nothing lame no more I'm not letting nobody treat me bad I'm not gonna let nobody run over me I'm not gonna let nobody use me I'm not like what a person give in to me is what I what they what they get back from me. And that's that. Like nobody else is allowed to use me. I'm not allowing it. I promise myself that nobody is allowed to disrespect me. Nobody's allowed to do anything like that. Like nobody. So that's why I feel like my life is so much more peaceful. It does get lonely though. Like it's, I'm very lonely. Like I'm I don't talk to nobody, but it's peaceful. And being peaceful and being at peace is way more important than wanting somebody around, you know, just wanting anybody around, wanting a friend, wanting a boyfriend or whatever. But that stuff ain't important to me no more. Like, I want good qualities. I want the good quality. I don't want just anything because I don't got to talk to nobody. I'm really my own friend for the most part. My, my best friend don't live here, so... Yeah, where I live at, I really don't have friends. Like, I don't talk to nobody. I don't hang out with nobody. But I like it to change, yes. But I feel like when God is ready to place that good friend that's, you know, around this area in my life, he will. And I don't know it. I'm not forcing no relationships, though. I'm not forcing because I feel like, oh, I want to go out. I want to go enjoy myself here and there. No, I'm I'm all, I'm all on God's timing. We all on God's timing. Um... So I ain't forcing nothing. I'm a firm believer. I'm not forcing nothing. Mm -mm. Nope. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm not forcing nothing because I know my heart, though, y'all. Like, I have the biggest heart ever. I'm the sweetest person ever. I'm very genuine. I'm very, um, my intentions are always pure. Like, literally. Um, so, I don't. I don't force nothing because I'm I'm such a good quality of I'm such a good quality of a friend. Anything that revolves like involves anything that involves a relationship, I'm I'm a good quality of that. Like and I stand on that. So I don't force nothing. I don't. So yeah. That's how I really like I deal with things. I'm not gonna say I'm just so strong, but I definitely know how to maintain. I'm learn I done learned how to maintain and I'm still learning how to maintain and control myself and my emotions. And don't let my emotions don't let your emotion never let your emotions get the best of you. Because every time it's just like, oh, somebody a person has gained if a person has that much power over your emotions, it's time to get out. It's time to kind of pull yourself to the side and reevaluate and get get yourself back together. Yeah, you can't, you, y'all, y'all gotta realize you can't, and what, this is one thing that I realized, I can't make nobody 
I can't make a person, I can't make a person be a friend to me. I can't make a person be a good person. I can't make a, anybody be a good person to me. They got to want to do that. And if their intentions aren't good, they don't want to be a good person to me. I can't get mad at it. All I'm going to do is respect it and leave it alone. Because I, I don't want no parts. I don't want no parts of it. So, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to lower my, I'm not going to lower my, my, um, dang, I don't know. I don't have a brain fart. But I'm not going to lower my standards for anybody because that's not who I am. I'm not doing nothing. Like, I'm just going to remove myself. That's like the most peaceful, peaceful thing to do. And the girls that get it, get it. All this stuff to be preached on, on social media is like, oh, you gotta get some get back. Mm mm. Mm mm. No. Because is that really you? What you doing right now? Is that really you? Or are you doing it because somebody did it to you? That's the ugly trait they have. So, mm -hmm. baby. These nuggets, immaculate. Amazing. But yeah. I'm about to finish eating y'all because I know y'all tired of me smacking. And I will talk to y'all later. Baby, and I got a breakfast bacon taco. It sounds like Kaiser wants some. Give him a piece of egg. Let's see. Hey, baby. Enjoy. Boy, you stink. Oh, my God, dude. So I had to come check in. Me and Kaiser are really not doing much for the rest of this day. We're just gonna be chilling. Um, I'm probably gonna go in the kitchen and boil me some rice so that I can eat some roast. But really, I ain't doing much. I'm just gonna be chilling today. I need. I'm in the process of folding up clothes, washing clothes, just cleaning up and stuff today. So yeah. But about the photo shoot, y'all. The photo shoot was a 10 out of 10. It was good. Kaiser was a little complicated, but for it to be our first shoot ever, like our first pictures together, I think that the pictures came out really good. I'm just waiting on um, her turnaround time, which is like a week and a half. I'm really sad that I won't have the pictures on Mother's Day, but I don't know. It was a last minute um, decision of me to take some son and mo some mother and son pictures. So yeah, and plus it's all good. Y'all still gonna see them. But I just want to let y'all know, it's definitely given from what I seen today. So hopefully her editing skills execute even more because her photography skills definitely did what they needed to do. So yeah, that's all that I will be doing today. I might show y'all, I got a new, um, com well, my mama bought me a new comforter um, for Mother's Day. And there it is down there. It's taking up a lot of space in my room. So I'll probably show y'all me putting that on and I'll probably be showing y'all the outcome and how it looks because me and my mom have been on a search to find stuff for this color on this wall. This color on this wall is hideous to me. I think this is going to be really, really pretty. So once I clean up this room, I will probably change my comforter set and put that one on there and we'll go from there on figuring out how we're going to make this room do what it do my baby's so handsome yeah. that's right that's right i had put some little twists in his head last night he, did so good. he always sits so still when i'm doing his hair all he needs is a snack and baby shark and he gonna do he do just fine but yeah shake, shake the head shake the dress one i mean shake the twist one say shake 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 yeah and we'll talk to y'all later yeah, we'll talk to y'all later. Yeah.
Yeah. All right, y'all. We'll talk to y'all later. Tazza, you got something to say to mommy? You gonna say it to mommy? Say happy, happy Mother's Day, mommy. Kai, you got something to tell mommy? Mwah, I love you, baby. First Mother's Day. Drink of the day. Here, come get some. Come on, here. He wants some, yeah. Cool. This my dream. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, we're about to start getting ready. I wanted to show y'all our outfits before we start putting them on and stuff. But um, Taz is gonna wear this brown. Um, I don't know. It's like a towel material. It's a two-piece set. It came from Walmart. I think it's like Easy Peasy or something like that brand. Yeah, Easy Peasy brand. His Jesus piece. And hopefully this go good together. It look like it would though. I think it'll be cute together. But if not, I'll just change the shoes. But this is real cute. And then it's got hearts, love, Mother's Day, like love, mommy. So I thought that'd be cute, y'all. So he gonna wear this, and then this is gonna be my outfit. So I kind of try to coordinate our colors. So we have brown and white, neutral colors. <clears throat> So I'm gonna be wearing this bamboo purse with this white romper. Oh, it's so cute, y'all. Y'all gotta see it on. It's so cute. And then I'm gonna be wearing silver jewelry with this. And some, I went for a brown neutral color scheme and I thought this would be perfect for me and him to match. So yeah, I'm about to get myself, I'm gonna get him ready first. And then I'm gonna get myself ready. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do my makeup and stuff. And then I'll put this on because I'm a little nervous about this white, but I just had to have it, y'all. I'm nervous because he literally, I don't know, he may get me dirty, but it's okay. But yeah, that's our little fits. All right, y'all. Kaiser and I are ready to go. This is the fits. Oh, fit check makeup sweat <laughs> no nah, but for real i'm really feeling the vibes it's really like clean it's giving clean girl let me show you my shoes real quick hold on so these are my shoes so cute little crochet i showed y'all already but it looks really good with the outfit oh tootie let me move this out the way look at my baby y'all oh he looks so handsome yeah you look so handsome show me shoes Okay, I like your shoes, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your chain. You got your chain. He's trying to put the camera in his mouth. Yeah. That's my handsome baby. Look at my handsome baby. Hey mama, I just want to show you the gratitude that you deserve on your day. I love you so much and I feel like the luckiest daughter in the world to have a mother like you. Your good qualities will forever outweigh your imperfections. You will forever be my very first best friend. I'm so sad that we can't be together on days like this to celebrate you, but I'm proud and I'm extremely happy that you found happiness again. May God continue to bless you in major ways for you to deserve. Happy Mother's Day again. I love you. Thank you.